Wow. Ahoy, bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. So today, I saw Spider-Man away. By the way, if you're wondering why my setting is different, um, my house is getting renovated right now, and they're working on my room right now, so I'm uh, somewhere else right now for temporary. But fuck it, forget about that. We're talking about Spider-Man No Way Home, baby. I just saw it a few days ago. Um, I took a few days to gather my thoughts and have my honest opinion out there rather than just go off rather than it just be a first impression you know because if it was a first impression i would just be giddy with excitement but no, i want to get my full thoughts on here so i i just sat on my thoughts for a little bit but yes i finally saw it it's finally out <laughs> i'm excited to talk to you guys about it so let's get into it first off i want to say um i want to give some things on why i love spider-man so for one, it's the character is just full of heart and just humanity. He wants to save people. He wants to do things for the best of everyone around him. And I love that about him. I mean, just look at his name. He's the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He's friendly. He's a good human being. And he's something that I strive to be in my own life, you know. And most of his stories have great, great emotion. You know, Craven's The Last Hunt, even like some of the movies, like, Spider-Man 1, 2, you know, you've even got the video game, Spider-Man PS4, which is amazing. And he's also really smart and uses his gift for the good of mankind, as Tobey Maguire once said. Why do I bring these things up? It's because <laughs> this movie literally has everything I love about the character of Spider-Man. The only couple of things that have been able to do that are Into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 1 as well. And the PS4 video game. To me personally at least. And also Far From Home as well. But don't tell Twitter that. Anyway. So let's get into it. So the movie picks up right after where Far From Home ended. With Peter, P Peter Parker's identity being leaked out to the world. And everyone knows he's Spider-Man. And they think he murdered Mysterio. So to cure all this. Um, he not only affects his life but it also affects others life so to fix this he goes to dr strange for help for a spell i'm sure you've seen in the trailer by now by the way there will be no spoilers at all for like the first couple minutes and once i you know flash this on the screen there'll be spoilers so you can skip ahead i'll put like a timestamp as well just so you can skip ahead because i know it just came out and not everyone has seen it so i don't want to ruin the experience for any of you guys so but anyway, Doctor Strange, he asked for a spell to wipe everyone's memory of it, like the Men in Black Memory Wiper. It goes horribly wrong because Peter messes with it, and it leads to a bunch of crazy stuff happening, like villains from other universes coming into his own. And that's all I'm going to say about the plot, because it is a wild, wild ride. i only be talking about things that happen in the trailer, right? You know? Only things in the trailer I will be discussing, so I won't spoil it for anyone. One thing I really liked about this is I love how they showed the effect of what a superhero's identity leaked would be like, you know? I th I thought that was really well done. It's just a whole bunch of mad chaos. It's just like a paparazzi to, like, the 10th level, you know? Uh, you got, like, helicopters, like, always swarming in on Spider-Man. You got people always asking him questions uh, in the bridge scene before... You know, the Doc Ock fight happens. He, like, walks by a bunch of cars, and they're all like, Oh my god, is that Spider-Man? You know, I thought they did a really great job with that. Another great part about this movie is the characters. All the characters get something to do in this movie, and I love that. It adds a lot to this movie. So yeah, let's get into what worked for me. First of all, I want to say that the fan service in this movie is probably the best I have ever seen in any movie. I'm, like, being dead serious. I haven't seen anything come close to this fan service like ever um i know a lot of people like to shit on star wars for their fan service in the sequel trilogies because they would show like an ewok and then they just shit all over the canon to them and this it's they don't shit on anything one of my biggest concerns about this movie was that it was going to be nostalgia bait but it was not a, it was not that at all it really it really is the real deal and one of my other my biggest concerns was that you know you take like doc Ock, green goblin in there i thought they were just gonna be like lame variants of like the mcu universes 
um, Norman Osborne or Doc Ock. I thought they were just going to be that, but no, you get the real deal. You literally get the Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2. You get the Green Goblin from Spider-Man 1. You get Electro from Amazing Spider-Man 2. You get them all. They are not dicking around here. They are bringing them all in from their universes, and I was so relieved at that. <laughs> I mean, you can even see it in the trailer. Doc Ock, just when he first arrives talking to Peter, he's just like, Where's my machine? And we know he's talking about his machine from Spider-Man 2, the machine that built the sun or whatever it was that he was so obsessed with. I, I'm glad the, the fan service was just top notch. Like I said before, the characters were just top notch. And I want to shout out some standouts here. Tom Holland, this has got to be his best performance as Spider-Man yet. He was tremendous. I was just blown away by him. He had... He gave it, Tom Holland fucking crushed it, man. He is Spider Man to me, like forever now. He's with there with Toby and Andrew for me now. I was just, I was like blown away by his performance. He does it all. He goes through his highest highs, his lowest lows. He really gets his fucking shit beaten, and you can just feel it with like some of the expressions on his face. You can feel the anger because there's some moments that like piss him off, and you can feel it. And Tom Holland was just amazing. Another standout was Zendaya. I I'm a big Zendaya fan, so she can do no wrong to me. So, And Zendaya was great as MJ. I really, really liked her, MJ. I'm glad they didn't just sideline her out of the story for all this craziness we got going on. But she's actually an integral part of the story. And I love the chemistry between Tom Holland and Zendaya. It's probably really strong because they're dating in real life. Which, by the way, Tom Holland... Nice work. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love Zendaya in this movie. Alfred Molina as Doc Ock. He's probably my favorite villain in live action Spider-Man. And he was fantastic as usual in here. I, I loved him. To me, uh, when I think of Doc Ock, I just think of Alfred Molina. And I was so happy to see him back. He really crushed it. Oh my goodness. Can we talk about Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin? <laughs> this man is just awesome i loved him in this movie he was phenomenal uh i won't spoil too much but throughout this movie he's pretty the normal side the norman osborne side of him is pretty like shocked and like worried and confused and willem dafoe does a great job with that and then you get the goblin side where he's just about to go mad with this evil face on his face i, I can't do it as well but you just hear that voice of his going it's a bitchy spider. I, I can't do it as well. Willem Dafoe's a goddamn. He's so goddamn talented. I love Willem Dafoe. My goodness, it it just made me happy to see <laughs> see him play this cartoonishly evil character, but in the good way, in the best possible way. I also really loved the story of this movie. It was just, it was fantastic. It wasn't convoluted. It wasn't a fucking mess. It was so clean cut, perfect, and it was paced beautifully. It didn't feel too long, it didn't feel too short, it didn't feel too fast. It was paced perfectly. I I don't know how they were able to juggle all this, but they did a really amazing job. One final thing, I won't spoil anything that happens, but I'm just going to say the final battle in this might honestly be my favorite battle in any Marvel movie. I'm literally not kidding. The final battle was just tremendous. I had like the biggest retard face just watching that because i was just so amazed like this was literally my face <laughs> it was just a face of happiness just shocked by what i was seeing I, I literally felt like i was a kid watching that i was just fucking blown away by that final battle now the things i really didn't like well not really the things I didn't like were really minor, but I really felt that Sandman and Lizard were kind of wasted. Sandman, he has, when he's introduced, you think they're going to do something great with him, but after that, they kind of just do nothing with him, and he's just kind of in the background, which is a little disappointing because I'm one of the few people, I guess, who really loves Sandman from Spider-Man 3, you know, a guy doing whatever he can for his daughter, uh, sympathizes with me, I guess, I don't know. But 
after that, he, he just didn't really do much in this movie, which kind of disappointed me. Same with Lizard, but I'm a little more forgiving of because I've never been a big fan of the Amazing Spider-Man Lizard. I like him saying like the 90s TV show. But in here, he's really just the monster, you know, the monster of the Sinister Five. Yeah, the Sinister Five. He really was just the monster, just an evil monster. That's literally all he was. But yeah, that's literally all I didn't like about this movie. Just those two things, and they were very minor things, because the rest just blew me out of my fucking asshole. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give my final score here, and then I'm going to talk about some spoilers. So what I would give this movie is honestly a perfect 10 out of 10. There's The movie is just fucking phenomenal. I honestly think it's the best Spider-Man movie ever. This even beats Into the Spider-Verse, which is no easy feat for me. And Spider-Man 2, which is no easy for, feat for me because that was my childhood movie. But wow, this movie just elicited every emotion out of me. Just happiness, sadness, amazement excitement and like i'm gonna be honest i cried fucking tears of joy and i watched it with my girlfriend i was crying on her shoulder <sighs> oh my god <laughs> i i was just really choked up by what i was seeing i was it really felt like i was a kid again watching this movie it was it was fantastic i haven't had a movie in such a long time bring me this much happiness and thrillment I, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. But yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Now, let's get into spoilers. Oh, baby, I am ready to talk about this. All right, three, two, one. Okay, that's your warning. Let's talk about Toby and Andrew. Oh, my God. I am not kidding when I say I fucking cried tears of motherfucking joy seeing Toby Maguire come to the screen for the first time in 15 years oh my god i still can't get over that they they managed to have all three spider-men together and they did it fucking well they worked so well off each other it's amazing the chemistry they had oh my god i was just blown away they were hilarious i loved all their conversations like them talking about like toby's like web blood and they're like, does it come out of anywhere else besides your arm? <laughs> oh my god, it was fantastic. And also, Andrew really stood out. Andrew Garfield, man, you you really stood out. <laughs> I really honestly think Andrew Garfield should get his third Spider-Man movie after this because he was just fantastic. I loved him in this. I really underappreciated Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Until I saw this movie, I'm not going to lie, I kind of changed my opinion on those movies. Not super drastically, but a lot because of how... When he's well-written, he is fantastic. I was just blown away by him. But yeah, Toby, Andrew, and Tom, they were fucking fantastic. I, I still can't believe that that happened and they got to be in a final battle together. And I also really love that um, it wasn't just like a they just showed up at the end and saved the day. It was, no, they played an integral part of the story. They were in the second and third act. They helped Peter defeat the Sinister Five. <sighs> like, oh my god. I can't believe they managed to pull that off. But yeah, let's talk about that final battle. That final battle was something amazing. That I have like no words for that final battle. It was just it was like something I would play with as like a kid with toys, but it came to fucking life. I I just could not believe what I was seeing. Like I said, I sat there with that retard face the whole time. It was unbelievable, man. The crowd, I went to a packed theater, so the crowd went crazy for like all the big moments in the movie. I've never been to one of those, but that was really exciting. I am going to see the movie again. But probably with a not screaming crowd. I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed seeing people go crazy for Tommy and Andrew. But I like to see the movie with a little bit of silence. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, that final battle was fucking amazing. Holy shit. If you told me like five years from now 
or five years ago that Toby, Andrew, and Tom would be in a movie together kicking the Sinister Five's ass, I would have said you're fucking crazy. There's no way that's happening. But yeah, final battle was fantastic. <sighs> now, let's get into a good piece for me. My man, Charlie Cox, Matt Murdock, Daredevil, has finally come back. And close to his birthday, by the way. Good for him. Happy birthday. Late birthday. But wow. I know it was only one scene. I'm con- I'm- I know I'm asking a little too much for a movie that literally managed to get Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield back as Spider-Man. But I really wish we could have gotten a couple more scenes with Daredevil. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm just a big simp for Daredevil, alright? I've been waiting years for that show to come back in some way, and it looks like it might. Yes, sir. Man, it was just so ha- it was just so so good to see him back as Daredevil, being a lawyer helping Peter. By the way, when he catches that brick like that, when they someone's trying to hit Peter Parker in the face, which by the way, it would have hit him in the face if it wasn't for my avocado at law, Matt Murdock. Oh my God, that was. It was a short scene, but again, it filled me with joy as a big Daredevil fan. I love that show to death. If you have not seen it, I I really don't know how you can not watch an amazing piece of Marvel content right there. But if this is pushing you to watch Go Daredevil, go fucking do it. You will not regret it. Which, by the way, I do hope the events of that show are canon to the MCU. I know there's talk of them decanoning and making, like, um, a new version of him or like a soft reboot it at, at the compromise i'll allow a soft reboot but they could like maybe mention the events but they don't have to like you know talk about them in detail like you don't have to talk about like wilson fisk fucking crushing somebody's skull with a car door i think you can safely avoid that or bullseye viciously murdering an entire you know journalist piece I think you can avoid some things, but I, I do think you should make it canon. But yeah, seeing uh, Daredevil is just amazing. As for the ending, it really made me super emotional. It was very, very sad, but really, really satisfying and such a Spider-Man thing to do. I love Spider-Man finally learning what it means to be a hero and actually making the right choice, protecting his his lover and his best friend Ned from his life after all these crazy things came spiraling out of control. I really love that choice and I love that he's on his own now. I was not, I didn't mind him with Iron Man all the time, but come on, Spider Man's at his best when he's on his own. You know? I mean just look at the video game. But wow. I I am like that ending got me so excited to see like what the future holds for him now that he's alone. Which, by the way, his new suit, I've only seen like a little bit of it, but that suit is fire. From what it looks like, it looks like a mix of Toby's, Andrew's, and Tom's suit together, but with like the classic style, and I love it. I'm really excited to see where they go with the, the Spider-Man in the MCU. I know he's not done yet. I I know they're making a Spider-Man 4. I mean, how could you not? But yeah, that ending was a gut punch, but it was like a, a satisfying gut punch, if that can even exist. <laughs> As for the two post credit scenes, I will say the Venom one kind of disappointed me. Not that I don't want to see Venom. I want to see Tom Hardy's Venom. I feel like I'm sometimes the only person in the world who likes those movies, but... I'll be the first to say they're not very good, but God damn it, they are fun. Like, you can't tell me you don't have a fun time watching Tom Hardy and Venom bicker all the time. But yeah, I was kind of disappointed that they sent him away. I was really hoping to see Tom Hardy's Venom meet with, like, all the other Avengers and Spider-Man. I thought that would have been super cool. I mean, maybe they will. They keep going back and forth on it. But I hope it... I hope they do meet at some point. I know we're getting the black suit Spider-Man with the symbiote goot, like, leak out, and now we're going to get Spider-Man with the black suit, which I'm hoping leads to Kraven's last hunt, because that is a really awesome storyline. And finally, the Doctor Strange 2 trailer, and it looked pretty fucking good. Isn't it ironic that 
Sam Raimi, the man who gave us the Toby trilogy, is directing that. And Toby was in this movie. I hope that's not a. I hope that's a coin. I hope that's not just a coincidence. Toby and Doctor Strange too. I hope. But yeah, the straight the trailer looked phenomenal. I can't. Well, I can't wait to see more of Doctor Strange and more of Wanda after this. Her new suit looked hot. But yeah, I'm excited to see more Wanda, especially after WandaVision. Even though I didn't really like how that show ended. I know, I know, I know. WandaVision fans hate to hear people say that. But Ralph Boner killed the show for me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the ending, the last episode is just not very good. I'm really sorry. But it's just not good. And you need to get your head out of your ass. Because that, that shit is abominable. <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen always carries. Okay, now. But yeah, I'm excited to see where they take this direction of the multiverse for Marvel. It's a really amazing concept. And I think this movie really showed it. And I hope they just keep going with it for as long as they can. You know, bring in other characters. Characters I would like to see. I would like to see... I know Deadpool is eventually coming, but... I would like to see the Fox X-Men. You know, like Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. Uh, Holly Berry as Storm. Professor X, Magneto. I would like to see them in the MCU. They would be fantastic. So yeah, we're at the end of spoilers. Nothing... No more spoilers, but yeah. My final thoughts, I, I'm i going to be honest, this is probably the best experience I've had in a movie theater. I went to the first showing in my town, and the crowd was crazy. I went there with my girlfriend, and it was a tremendous fucking time. I'm so happy we got to experience it together. Whew, it was just, wow. Like I was just speechless for the first five minutes after this movie was done. I just couldn't believe what I just saw. But yeah, this movie is a solid 10 out of 10 for me. This is by far the best Spider-Man movie for me now. And I'm not exaggerating it because I just saw it recently. I I really doubt my opinion will change on it because no movie has been ever to just a pivot of motions out of me like this before. No movie has ever done that for me. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this review of it. Uh, I had a blast. I hope you guys did see it, and I hope you guys see it as soon as possible because spoilers are ran are rampant throughout the internet. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, I'd best stay off the internet for a while because if you go on literally anything like Twitter, TikTok, um, even Facebook, you go on anything, even YouTube. I know a lot of people got spoiled by YouTube recommending clips that the UK posted earlier. <laughs> But yeah, I recommend staying off the internet because the spoilers are fucking rampant everywhere. It's like a like a wildfire in there with Spider-Man spoilers. But yeah, I do hope you guys see it if you really want to see it because I really think a lot of people are gonna love this movie. It's it's got everything for anybody, any any Spider-Man fan of any of the trilogies. It's got everything, and I loved it. I fucking loved it. And I'm not even kidding when I say this. This might be like one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, it's literally in my top five. I don't know if it would be my favorite. It honestly might be my favorite. I, I'm not like over exaggerating because all of my other favorite movies have never been able to give me this energy to talk about. You know, it's, they've never, I can't even fucking speak probably because of how excited I am over this movie. But yeah, no movie has made me like this. No movie. And I loved it for that. Everyone did a fantastic job. The passion was just put inside this movie. <laughs> the passion was all there and it showed. Everyone crushed it. And I'm so happy that I got to see a movie like this before I eventually perish. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to like and subscribe. If this is your first video here, uh, I do Let's Plays on the channel for those of you interested. Uh, for Spider-Man fans, I did Let's Play uh, Spider-Man PS4 and Miles Morales. So if you're interested, go check those out. I have played various games. Just go through my playlist and you'll see, you know, like Last of Us, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy. I've played a lot of games, so I do hope you guys check it out. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.